with the Lakers, all the glitzy stuff always gets thrown around. The reality is, what are they going to do to try and make sure that next time they play the Nuggets, they don't lose four straight? Well, listen, it starts with keeping the players they have. And the two young players, one they acquired, Rui Hachimura in the trade with Washington. He's good. And Austin Reeves, who yeah. they brought in and have developed. They're both restricted free agents. I think their number one goal is they're not letting either of those two uh, out of the building. They're going to match offer sheets for them or see if they can get to an extension on either of them. D'Angelo Russell, can they get to a contract number that makes sense for them uh, as their point guard? Another player they picked up at the trade deadline. And then they've got their exception. They can go out in free agency and get you know another player who could be helpful. Is Chris Paul going to be available mm. in free agency, whether he gets waived in Phoenix or traded and waived somewhere else? as part of another deal, I think staying in Los Angeles uh, where he's got his home for Chris Paul, the Lakers, the Clippers are going to be prominent in that conversation. But there's no big game hunting out there for this Laker organization. In this league right now, with a new collective bargaining agreement, you can't really pay, have three max contracts, three superstars, and expect to have any depth on your roster. It's going to look a lot the same, but think about a team next year that goes the entire season with Hachimura, with Reeves as your starter. You know, they've got a chance to be very, very competitive in the West. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.